Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shemer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. Have you ever thought that there might be a connection between speech and sickness? I mean, if you, we, we look at other places in our life, we can find some connections. You know, you, you, you get a stomach ache um, or an upset stomach because you're worried or because you're fearful. You know, you're stressed out, so you get a headache. So there's some connections between mental and spiritual issues that connect to the physical or that bleed or affect the physical. So why not speech and sickness? You know, here's an example. Somebody comes up to you and says, hey, man, are you feeling all right? You don't look so well. Yeah, man, you know, I feel fine. A couple minutes later, somebody else comes by and says, wow, you look a little green around the gills. Are, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I, I feel fine. And then a few minutes later, somebody else comes up and says, you know, hey, you don't look so well. You look a little peaked. You know, is everything OK? And then all of a sudden you're like, well, now, now that you mention it, I'm not feeling so well. The power of speech, the power of suggestion. You were feeling fine until people pointed out that you weren't feeling fine and you started believing what they were saying. So you can kind of see a connection there. So in our Torah portion uh, today, this is our second Sidra, our second Aliyah of Metzora, which means the leper. And it's taken from Leviticus chapter 14, verses 13 through 20. But I want to focus in on verse 18. And it talks about the, the cleansing of the leper and the pronouncing of him clean and him being, you know, presenting sacrifices and being anointed. So here it says in verse 18, from what remains of the oil that it is in his hand, the Kohen, the priest, is to dab it on the head of the one being cleansed, that is being cleansed from leprosy, or Zaaretz in other words. In this way, the Kohen will make atonement for him before Adonai. So, you know, in the modern day church, when somebody is sick um, or somebody has a spiritual issue, a lot of times, you know, the, the minister or the elders will anoint that person with oil as they pray over them. So we see very early on in scripture that it's not just a New Testament thing. It's not just a Christian thing, but it's a Hebrew. It's a Jewish thing because this person was sick with leprosy, sick with the Aris, and they were healed, they were cleansed, and they were anointed with oil. Well, you fast forward to the book of James, and James chapter uh, 5, verses 14 uh, through 15, it says, Is any among you sick? Let him call for the elders of Messiah's community, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Huh. Now, I'm not saying this is the case 100% of the time, but the scripture to me here is alluding to that there is sins that causes physical illness. There are sinful spiritual roots that manifest as sickness physically in your body. Now, I've already testified to you to this with my allergies, asthma, arthritis, adrenal fatigue, irritable bowel, insomnia. It was all connected to fear, bitterness, and passivity. So we've already discussed through this Zaaretz, through this leprosy, that leprosy, the main way of contracting it, uh, according to the scriptures and according to the rabbis and sages, is through Lashon Hara, through the evil tongue, through evil speech, through slander, through gossip things of this nature. Well, digging in a little deeper into the rabbinic literature, there's actually seven, uh, seven sins that could manifest as leprosy. Lashon hara being one, um, spilling of blood being two, false oaths being three, forbidden intimacies, in other words, forbidden sexual relations, number four, haughtiness, number five, uh, robbery, number six, and stinginess, number seven. So, Maybe somebody has a sickness and it's due to a sin. And it says here, is anyone sick among you? Let him call for the elders of Messiah's community and let him pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. So this person willing to go to the elders represents this person's uh, uh, willingness to, to ask forgiveness, willingness to submit to God's will, willing to humble themselves before the Lord. And then it says the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick. Okay, kind of hints that that's why they're there being prayed for. 
and the Lord will raise him up if he has committed any sins. So if, if this sickness is connected to a sin, it will be forgiven. And also hinted at that this person will be healed as a result of being forgiven from this sin, that this sickness that, 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 that causes, um, or this sin that causes this sickness will no longer manifest in this person's flesh. So I think that's kind of an interesting connection between our Torah portion this morning and the New Testament. Uh, guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.